Switch custom workspaces in less than a second for a great browsing and editing or color grading experience. That's a game changer for me while working on smaller screens like 13 or 16 inches. What's good guys, you're watching No Limits on channel. Editing on a small screen is a pain. I've been working on my iMac 5K for 4 years and then switched to MacBook Pro 13 inch to edit while traveling and I had to tweak the workspaces all the time, which is very annoying and time consuming. But recently I found a fast workaround. In Final Cut or basically in any editing software you can drag or toggle on and off different workspaces to arrange the most comfortable option for your needs. But on smaller screens it can be pretty limiting and messing around with it all day consumes a lot of precious time. You can also use command shortcuts such as command plus zero for default workspace, command seven to show or hide scopes, command five to show or hide effects and command six to go to the color board. That's nice, but is it that fast and convenient as switching from browsing mode to color grade mode and editing mode within one second? Let me show you. So my two custom workspaces are browse for choosing the right footage and putting it into the timeline and also grading or you can call it editing and color grading mode with huge preview window and minimum distractions such as browse window or library tab. But by default you only have several options built into Final Cut Pro X. If we go to window workspaces we'll see the default, organize and color and effects. And they are extremely uncomfortable to use, just have a look at it. But we do have some keyboard shortcuts for those at least. Also, you can arrange all the windows and tabs manually and save this workspace by going to Window, Workspaces, Save Workspace as. But you have no shortcut keyboard command for it. And you have to manually go to Window and choose your custom workspace all the time. And if you create several workspaces like I did, it's really frustrating to switch those manually via this menu all the time. So there is a way to fix it. First, arrange the workspace you want, go to Window, Workspaces, Save Workspace As, and name it, something like Workspace 1. The capital letters are important, keep that in mind. But as you can see, the custom workspace you just created doesn't have a shortcut. Second, Go to the System Preferences, then click Keyboard, then click Shortcuts. Click App Shortcuts on the left. As you can see, I have already assigned two shortcuts for my workspaces in Final Cut Pro X. Then hit the plus icon. From the drop menu we can choose All Apps or Final Cut Pro X specifically. I suggest choosing FCPX. The menu title is the exact name of the menu item. Here we need to enter the full path to get to the custom workspace we just created. You need to type in window dash greater than sign workspaces dash greater than sign workspace 1 and keep all the capital letters like I did here and then create a shortcut. I found that option command 5 and option command 6 are not used in any existing shortcuts in FCPX so you can use those like I did. And then hit add. So, if we now go to the Window menu and Workspaces in Final Cut Pro X, you can see that now we do have a shortcut for our new workspace. You can repeat this with the second or third workspace and voila! If you want to add different keys combination, you can go to Final Cut Pro, Commands, Customize and check if there is any free combinations of keys that are more suitable for you. The only downside of this method is that when you launch Final Cut or you close it and relaunch it, you will have to manually go to Window, Workspaces and choose your custom one. After it, the keyboard shortcuts will work flawlessly. So you only need to go to the menu system once and then just quickly hit the shortcuts to switch between custom workspaces. That's it. And also I'll leave a link in the description for my playlist of Final Cut Pro X tutorials, tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. Here are a couple of videos for you to watch next. My name is Alek Nikitin, no limits on channel. See you in the next video guys. Take care, bye.